My name is Jian Choi. I'm a staff attorney at Beno Legal Services, working with immigrants in their immigration and family law matters. When I was at law school, I was volunteering at the Legal Assistance Foundation in downtown Chicago. I was involved with a project helping with immigrant women in a domestic violence situations. So that kind of interest in the immigration and family law was naturally grow in that field. There was a case about a woman, a victim of domestic violence, was we'll just call her Sunny. Sunny and I met last year at a local victim's shelter. She was an immigrant. She was with her boyfriend for many, many years. They lived together. Her boyfriend was legal in the United States. He had green card. Sunny did not. Sunny entered with the tourist visa and then she overstayed. So she was illegal at the time. Well, boyfriend was extremely abusive towards her. He, he kicked her, he slapped her, he beat her off frequently, and on top of everything else, he threatened to call immigration, get her deported. Sonny had no one to rely on in the United States. Sonny got scared. One day when they had a fight, he locked her out of the house, and she had no car, no cell phone, and no money at the time. Well, she had to walk miles and miles to her friend's place, and then friend connected her to the local shelter. The, the shelter's coordinator knew me, and she knew that I was helping with immigrants, so she called my office, and that's how I got connected with Sunny. So I sat down with Sunny. I looked at the details of uh, her case. Well, she was scared to death. She felt like that she would be deported soon because she left her abusive boyfriend. But she truthfully told me the details about her situation and we found an option for her. We gathered case documents, supporting evidences, and filed a EU visa petition with the immigration. The visa petition was approved and now she's back on the legal side. She has a legal status. She has an authorization, legal authorization to work in the United States. She has work. She got social security number. She obtained a driver's license. So now she is employed, full-time employed. She can drive and she has no fear for deportation. And she's free from her abusive boyfriend. Thank you.